I may take a ride further south. Oh yeah. Yeah, like the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was not, I was not expecting that, and that happened. All right, well, I guess they're switching here in Bembine. I thought that was a possibility, but I thought, well, I don't know. They've got a train to go back the other direction. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna switch up trains. Thinking 502 is gonna keep going south and 501 is gonna be heading north. They might be connecting up the locomotives to do a little switching here in the log yard. So 501 will be taking their train north. As you just saw, the crew switched out. And the crew jumping in the 502 will be heading back south. Came back down here to Pembine. So 501 is going to pull their train onto the siding here. This is the siding they normally take when they go get the gondolas. And when they get this whole train off the main track, 502 will continue their way south. And then 501 will back onto the main and keep on going north. The only downside is I won't be able to see, well we already know what's on the train going to the south, we just won't be able to see it.
trying to see if they have enough uh, room in front of them now because they do got gondolas out in front. About three more cars, four more cars. Yeah, they might have enough space. Closer look at these uh, pulp cars here, Cole. See the line on top. There's a white line on top telling them how full they can put those. Yep. Guessing he's thinking about going across. I'm glad he didn't try to run out there. the decision do I go south with 502 or do I go north with 501 Let's go catch 502 at one crossing I have not caught before. Thanks, Eric. Right off of 141, Rifle Range Road. Right back behind the Pembine Dunbar Beecher Rescue Squad. Anyway, it was brought to my attention that uh, I have not filmed back here yet. thought, well, I better get my butt out here and film it. Uh, it's 
looks like a trail. Well, I'm not going across there. A little mushy. A little mushy. There's some old uh, poles here. Not much use anymore, but check out the old mile marker. 276. I'm not sure where this goes to. It's uh, gated back here. But there's a train crossing right here. And there's a train coming. How fortunate is that? Anyway, pretty nice rails here. We're going to step back a little bit and catch this train as it comes across. They move here, don't they? Just flying. The Green Bay, Wisconsin. All right, let's go back north and catch that train, shall we? Hey, I've already got the train uh, off the siding back onto the main. I'm just wondering if they're gonna go up here and pull some more log cars uh, out of the wood yard. So we're gonna head up there and see. Back over here, like I said, I don't know. If they might stop and grab some of this. Not at all stop here to Green Fred. All right, let's scoot on back to County O, catch him coming back around the other way.
totally legal, stopped, made sure it was safe, and then went. Might actually uh, get to this crossing before they do, which is normally pretty weird. Normally, it does not happen this way. I might be able to actually get out of the car even. Then. Never would have thought that. It's real rare. I would have got to this point before them. There they go. It's actually a pretty good shot right here. Won't be long to be trying to fix that. Yeah, I came over to Alter Metal. I know they didn't grab any gondolas. They do have one high gondola on board that they could set off here. And it looks like those gondolas at Alter Metal are full. Anyway, the train's coming this way. We'll see if they grab those or not. If anything, they're just going to reach in there and grab them. Like I said, they do got that tall one in the back. They might stick in here. 
We'll have to find out. Anyway, they're they're going across that sketchy part of the track now that they just fixed. Taking her slow. I can't believe they only have one center beam. Felt like they would have had more center beams. Also, I seen a video of a train coming north earlier this week with mega log haulers on board. We were curious to see where they were going or if they were even going to come this way or what. See anybody jump off, did you? I see feet on the ground. I think he snuck off. I didn't even see him. I came over here. Decided I could just come back and sit in the car with the heat on. It's right about. Hey, Bureau Alpha, coming ahead, uh, four, three. Thirty degrees, I would suppose. A little chilly with the wind blowing. Anyway, you watch that last switching video here at Alter. They just set eight cars in there the other day.
said, it might just be leaving that one car in there. Turns out my phone uh, got really full of uh, videos and pictures that I wasn't paying attention and quit recording. I mean, I seen that it stopped recording. And I realized my memory was full. So it took me a couple of minutes to uh, clear up some space, delete a few things, so we could get this final shot. Yeah, they uh, just dropped off that one gondola at Alter, and that was it. Anyway, today was a pretty good chase. Always, always trying to figure out which way do I go, south or north? Which, which train do I follow? Well, I figured we'd stick with the one with all the pulp on it. Plus, we haven't seen 501 for a while, so that's always nice. Wonder if they lost any logs off the top of that third car there. Seems like it was more uh, level than it is now. Might just be me, I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Hope as well that you have a great weekend. Happy Easter to those who celebrate it. Me, I'll just eat, be eating a lot of chocolate. Be stuffing my face with chocolate bunnies. 
catch it if I can find my basket. Isn't that how it works? The Easter Bunny's gonna hide my basket, and then we gotta find it. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching again. And again, happy Easter. Have a great weekend. Hi, Ollie. This is Ollie, my new parrot. She is a white capped ponis. I know I'm killing that word. And she is my newest parrot. And if you guys are interested in maybe seeing my new parrots in uh, their daily life, I do post some shorts on a new channel I made called My Parrot Adventures. Check it out. The link is down below if you're interested.